So Amazon just revealed a new streaming platform today that is supposed to compete with Google Stadia and I guess Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation Now. Absolutely nobody gives a fuck, so you guys are probably wondering then why are you making a video about it. Well, I want it to be an excuse for me to actually talk about the future of streaming in general and how that's going to play out and if it's going to really be a serious threat to console gaming because you know people are hyped about the PS5, people are hyped about the Series X, and a big reason why people are hyped about the Series X especially is the whole proposition of Game Pass. But as we know, Game Pass will not only be available on Xbox consoles or even PC. It is coming to Android. iOS is a little shaky because of Apple's restrictions and they can't have each game, like all the games be in one app. It has to be separate apps and it's it's all convoluted. Apple is probably planning their own streaming service and that's why they want to fuck over Xbox. That's why they want to fuck over Stadia and why those streaming platforms won't be able to really break any ground on iOS. I know with this Amazon Luna thing, and that's what it's called, it's Amazon Luna. Well, at least that's a better name than Stadia. I don't know what the fuck a Stadia is. At least Luna kind of sounds cool. But apparently Luna will work with a Safari web browser. It's not even like a native app on the iOS store. You have to go on the Luna website on a Safari web browser on your phone and then play games that way. And either way, it's still really convoluted and probably isn't gonna work out too well. I think they're gonna have a lot more success on Android. But then again, I'd be really surprised if this Luna service was successful on any platform, never mind iOS, because it seems like the launch of this Luna service is gonna be even more underwhelming than that of Stadia. And Stadia had absolutely no games worth playing, at least no exclusive games. Anything had like one or two exclusives and then all the other games, they had Red Dead Redemption 2, Destiny 2, there have been much inferior versions of the versions on PC, console, you know, all the other platforms that have already been well established, except they're running on a shitty streaming service and you have to still pay full price. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, as far as Amazon's Luna service, we really don't know much about how the market's going to work. All we do know is that they will have separate channels, like a separate Ubisoft channel that you have to pay another subscription fee on top of in order to access the Ubisoft games. Like, why don't you just subscribe to Uplay Plus or whatever they have on PC or something, you know? Like, why would you go to this shitty streaming platform to play the Ubisoft games? I understand the whole point of streaming is to be more accessible for people that can't afford a $500 console and don't want to make a huge commitment. They just want to stream games with ease, but it doesn't work. The technology is shit. Like, they're running on Amazon's cloud service. I doubt it's any better than what Google has going right now, and the lag is incredible on Stadia. And that alone is enough to make people just not care. If the games run like shit, if they play like shit because of the input lag and the latency, and all the problems we have with streaming, this service is already dead on arrival. But e even if the technology is great, what are the launch titles that this service has? For $5.99 a month, which on surface level seems like a really good price, you're paying 6 bucks a month for a service that has over 100 titles, but most of those titles are useless. No one cares. So, okay, here, here are their big launch titles. They have Resident Evil 7, which is nice. Control, which is also a really good game. But then it's Panzer Dragoon, A Plague Tale Innocence, The Surge 2, Ukulele, Grid. Are you fucking kidding me? You think anyone gives a shit about those titles? And then the big ones on the Ubisoft servers you have to pay another subscription for. So, what's the point of this? I just don't understand. Like, Amazon... I, I think this is going to be a big failure for them. I, I can't imagine this thing really taking off that much. It's going to do even worse than Stadia is doing right now, and Stadia is really having a hard time. Now, there, Stadia has a chance of eventually recovering once they iron out the technology, the streaming, and the latency is a little bit lower, and they have more enticing games that are on their platform. I think at that point, Stadia might have a chance. But this shitty Amazon thing, which seems more like a Stadia knockoff than something that's actually unique and innovative it just seems like all these big companies are just fighting each other to become the first netflix for gaming that seems like what it is it's just it's, streaming is this huge gold rush and all these big companies like google amazon apple they think it's worth at least taking a chance and throwing a whole lot of money at it and see if it succeeds because they can afford to amazon's a trillion dollar company Apple's a trillion dollar company, Google is right behind them, so all these companies, they can afford to throw hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars into these projects, even if they don't succeed, even if they completely fail and they lose every penny on this project. At least they try, because the growth potential they think is just so huge not to at least try and not to at least attempt 
to get in on the ground floor with this streaming thing. Obviously, they're not all going to be successful. I don't think there's enough room for even if streaming becomes a mainstream thing, which is still far from becoming because the technology just is not there yet. Never mind the United States, which, yeah, a lot of people in the US can't even do streaming, but in all the developing countries like India, now Netflix is really huge over there, but they can't really handle game streaming. Right now, nobody really can. I live in America, and I tried using PlayStation Now, and it was just fucking terrible. The technology just sucks ass. But there are a lot of people that are running on really low internet speeds, and they're able to just get by with Netflix, but they can't really do game streaming. Even if the technology is perfect, even if they iron out the latency, you're probably going to need a really decent internet connection in order to get the thing going in the first place. So that's one big problem, just that globally, the market is not going to be huge. At least not is nearly as huge as the movie and TV show streaming or music streaming, which is a lot more accessible and a lot less expensive to maintain. I mean, game streaming is a lot more expensive technology than streaming just a movie or TV show or a song because there's a lot more involved than just connecting to a server and streaming content. You actually have to play the content if that makes any sense like you're you're in control of the character that is being streamed from a server so input lag latency there's all these different factors that aren't really as important with services like netflix that yeah it's gonna be they're gonna have a hard time just even getting in on the ground floor and having one company be the netflix for games but as of right now the market isn't there for all these different companies to exist and compete with each other and even if there was look at netflix right now you have netflix HBO Max, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and, and there are a few others, but there's really only a few of them that are really breaking any real ground, and that is Netflix. Disney Plus is also doing really well, but they can't all coexist. The market is definitely way too oversaturated when it comes to streaming, and we're going to get even more. We're going to get Paramount Plus and all these other services. Yeah, it's just way too much content, way too many services with that. And then with gaming, it's even worse because... It's more expensive for these companies to maintain the services, and it's also, you have less interest and less of an install base on game streaming than you have on TV and movie streaming, if that makes any sense. Because people aren't in any rush to give up their consoles and PCs anytime soon for these streaming platforms. Even if they have cool features like this Luna thing has Twitch streaming integrated with it, it that's not enough to sell an entire platform. It just isn't. It just doesn't really seem like Amazon is putting any real effort into it. They're just throwing a whole bunch of money into something and hope they get some type of return on their investment, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem like this Luna project is going to take off that much. I mean, if you look at the controller, look at how uninspiring it looks. It's like a hybrid between the Stadia controller and the Switch Pro controller, but it looks like a cheap Chinese knockoff version of those two controllers. You know, it just doesn't seem like a very enticing, a very exciting new product that will really captivate the hearts and minds of gamers around the world.